not been through technical inspection must do so by 10 o'clock. Laguna Seca is hosting the second to last race in the 1970 Canadian American Challenge Cup Series. Designer Jim Hall has brought his revolutionary Chaparral ground effects machine. A vacuum is created under the car by two large fans driven by snowmobile engines, giving this car greater cornering speed than the other cars. The popular driver, Peter Revson, is here with his Chevrolet-powered Lola. This course is open for practice and qualifying. the March 707, powered by a huge 494 cubic inch Chevrolet engine. throughout the series. The team has been working very hard and we'll hope they'll have better luck today. Number 76, the Red Ferrari, has been circulating faster and faster. Good lubrication is a critical factor in high-performance equipment. Somebody's gone off turn eight. Now there's a mix-up at turn nine. We can't see who it is. Chevy, driven by Ed Leslie. Let me take it to the back. Yeah. 
and seems to be okay. Kethan has been turning some hot laps in that number seven McLaren. The team mechanics are changing the gear ratio for an assault on the lap record by Gethin and Denny Holm. lap ever on this one and nine tenths mile track. Hey, something's happened to the chaparral. He's coming in. Oh, Big Elford must be mighty disappointed right now. This leaves Denny Holm in the number one starting position. Mr. Epson is out there having a last shot at the pole. Qualifying session is over. Peter Epson has nailed down third position on the starting grid. Official starting grid for the race will be Denny Holmes McLaren on the pole with teammate Peter Gethin next to him. Then Peter Epson's Lola, Jackie Oliver's Titanium Car, and Chris Amon's March fill out the first five starting positions. can't take advantage of the concession stands here at Laguna Seca. Go ahead and spring for a hot dog. They're good and good for you. Some steaming black coffee and soft drinks and all the good things at the concession stands scattered around Laguna Seca Raceway. And then, of course, the souvenir stands, which are blue and color, where you can pick up a Laguna Seca jacket or T-shirt. They even have a Laguna Seca villain. You want to work on that one? Gentlemen, let's have all the cars on the starting grid. Starting. 
Gentlemen, in two minutes. Rodriguez has worked his way from 10th starting position to 5th.
up to lap Pedro Rodriguez, who is in fifth place. Oh, <laughs> 